Welcome back to Guns.com everybody, I'm Ben and today we're talking about the Griffin Armament M2 flip up sights. Now real quick before we get started I got a question for you guys. I'm genuinely curious, how important are backup irons in today's age? Are they still a necessity on a rifle? Let me know down below, just curious on what you guys think. Alright, let's get into the construction of these Griffin Armament M2 flip ups. They are made out of steel, which I really like. Uh, that just gives me a warm and fuzzy feeling deep down in my soul because it's nice to have a little bit of steel on your guns. It is a problem if you're trying to cut weight, but it's not a problem for these sights because they are so low profile and they took out all the meat that they possibly could take out of these sights. These sights collectively are coming in at 2.5 ounces, which is really light. I'm really impressed with that. They are coated with a melanite coating, which gives them this kind of flat black color. They are only available in black, so for those FDE fans out there, sorry, you're going to have to wait a little bit. Maybe they'll come out with those in the future. These sights use a strong spring to hold their position. There's no buttons to push, anything like that. Uh, they are very tactile as you can hear they f kind of just flip right into position with uh, a little bit of a tug and they hold that spot really well repeatable zero would probably be your first question is the zero repeatable if they're not locking into place and yes every time I flipped them up I had the exact same zero I started out with these sights are a two-piece design and we'll get into why that is a little bit later they use a piece that attaches directly to your pick rail and then the actual sight dovetails into that piece. There's no sharp edges, everything is chamfered, rounded off, uh, so they're not gonna snag on anything, and the rear sight isn't gonna cut up your hand when you're using that charging handle. Let's talk about the front sight specifically. This front sight is pretty much like all your other front sights on the, on the market. It uses a typical A2 sight front post, um, it can be swapped out if you want to. You can run fiber optic in it, you can run tritium, you can run competition front sight posts which are real skin and skinny and thin. To adjust the elevation on it, it has a detent and a dial. Push the detent down and dial either clockwise or counterclockwise to get the elevation you need. Alright, let's move on to the rear sight and this is where I really start to like these sights together. The rear sight is simple. You have a post with a rear aperture. I don't think, as far as backup sights go, that you need a variety of sizes back here to flip through. I was making shots at 120, 125 yards, no problem with these irons, and this rear aperture was great. Simply put your front sight post in the middle of that circle in the back and go to work. I really like the simplicity of this rear aperture. Again, I'm not going to be using it all the time. I'm not going to be stretching it out to 300 yards. This is simply just a backup option, and I really think it fill, fills the role well. If you want to adjust the windage, there's a little dial here on the right. It has a slot in it. You can use a screwdriver, a coin, or whatever else you can find to fit in there to turn the dial. All right, my thoughts on these guys, they're everything you need and nothing you don't. I know a lot of people out there are still running irons primarily as their primary setting system and these will do the job, but I really th think they fill the role nicely of the backup sighting system. They don't take up a lot of space, they're not heavy, they're here to be seen, not heard. So I really like these. They can come in a couple different packages. Of course you can buy just your front or your rear if that's all you need, but you can buy sets in this 12 o'clock position. You can also buy offset sights, your 45 degree sights. And then they have what they call a deployment package, which is your 12 o'clocks and it has the ability to switch them to 45 degree offsets. This is where that two piece design comes in handy because you can just remove the sighting portion and then dovetail it onto the offsets if that's what you wanted to do. Price wise, these are pretty comparative to what everything else is on the market. If you wanted a set of 12 clocks, you're gonna pay around 140 bucks. I think that's very reasonable. Um, if you just want a front or a rear, it's around 70 bucks depending where you find it. But I think you're getting a ton of value out of these and they're gonna last a lifetime, probably because they're not gonna see a lot of use. Just gonna be a super durable option for you. Alright guys, so that's the Griffin Armament M2 flip up sights. If you like this video, hit that like button. Please share it with your buddies. We got a lot of great content coming down the pipeline and I know you're going to want to see it and we appreciate every bit of support. Guys, my name is Ben. We'll see you on the next video.